Hello, welcome to our first lesson on volume of solid shapes. In this lesson, we are looking at solid shapes in our environment. So we are going to identify some solid shapes in our environment. Now just look around you as you watch this video and mention any object that you can see around you. I know you may be mentioning objects like the television set, the radio set, the fridge, and many others. All these are examples of solid figures. So what is a solid figure? A solid figure or shape is any figure that has three dimensions. So any figure that has three dimensions is known as a solid shape. Now we are going to look at some special solid shapes. Then we will cite examples of objects around us that have these shapes. Let's start with the keyboard. Now a keyboard is any solid shape that may have all of, all of its faces being rectangles or at least four of the faces must be rectangles. We have to know that for a keyboard all the sides are not equal. Okay? Now, let's look at examples of some objects that have the shape of a keyboard. The Maggie keyboard, the Match Boss is a keyboard, our books, mattresses, the fridge, cement block, bricks, wardrobes, and cables. All these are examples of keyboards. Now let's look at the key. Unlike the keyboard, the key has all its faces being squares. And moreover, all the sides of a key are equal. Please cite examples of some objects that have the shape of a key. Let's look at some of them. The sugar cube, Maggie cube, the dice for playing Ludo game is cubic, the ice cube, Chocomilo, and finally the Rubik boss for playing games. So all these are examples of cubes. Now the cylinder the cylinder as you can see here it has a circular top a circular base okay and a perpendicular height so that's a cylinder now a cylinder is any solid shape that has a uniform circular cross section let's look at some examples of objects that have the shape of a cylinder I know the first one that comes to mind is the gas cylinder. But there are others such as the milo tin, the milk tin, needle tin, this particular water reservoir, some cups like the one that you are seeing on your screen, the tomato tin, and this particular battery. All these are cylindrical in shape. Now finally, the shape that we want to talk about is the cone. Okay? Is the cone. Let's identify the parts of this cone. As you can all see, it has a slant height, an apex, a perpendicular height, and a circular base. Now, unlike the cylinder, a cone has a varying circular cross section. So, for a cone, the cross section changes as you go along the perpendicular height. I believe that by now, you have started citing examples of objects that have the shape of a cone. Let's look at some of them. The Christmas hat. 
the Christmas tree, our favorite ice cream, the funnel, the safety cones, and the megaphone. All these examples of cones. Okay. So, in conclusion, we have come to realize that we have solid shapes all around us in our environment.